every speaker here is going to say the same thing, and every analyst, it, it's all about mobile. I mean, for, for our content now, we're 75% mobile. You know, we're a daily game, and so that may make us different, certainly different than the NFL, where people are home and it's on the weekend. Uh, but for us, we play daily, and, and people live their lives daily, so we're a lot like their lives. You know, you li we live on a mobile phone. All of us know it's not just millennials. Everybody does. Everybody, even my age, we live on our phone. That is our center point of our communication strategy, our own internal communication strategy. And that is so it is with baseball. 75% of our content now is consumed off a mobile device. And that will ultimately get to about 85, 90, and it will stop there because people still go to work and will still log in. It will look like it's a desktop, even though, you know, desktops don't really exist anymore. Um, so I think that's where it will go, and I think that's where we'll all end up. I mean, this generation, you know, they all, you know, laptops as big a device as they're ever going to use, ever, ever going to use a laptop's the biggest one. And now, you know, Apple's new new product, you know, has come out, and who knows what, you know, who knows what that line will blur. Obviously, you know, there's so much uncertainty. Nobody can see into the future. Nobody would have expected to be where we are now 10 years ago. But when you think about five years from now, you say you want to get it up to 90%. But what is that going to look like? When you, when you open your phone and you want to check out your Major League Baseball highlights or you want to watch a game, how is that experience going to be facilitated in the next few years? Yeah, I'm not sure you're going to, you know, quote, open your phone. Uh, I think that the way all of us who have updates, particularly those of us in, in competitive sports, I think the phone will tell you what the score is without you opening your phone. I think that the notion you'll be able to do two or three, you'll be able to be talking to somebody, or, you know, in the off chance you're actually using your phone to, for, for a voice conversation. You know, more likely you'll be texting someone or, or even in, in some worlds emailing them. And I think the phone will tell you notifications, uh, the way they work today, it's a little clumsy, it works. But I think it'll be a lot smoother, and I think you're just going to get a little color, a little dot, a little something on your phone that will tell you what you need to know, which is your favorite team just went ahead. You won't see anything, and if you want to hit it, you'll hit it, and you'll go find out. But I think the ability for us to get seven or, you know, several uh, inputs at the same time, it's not just millennials who can do this. It, we, even people our age can, can see three things and, and sort of let them all register at the same time. We do drive a car, and that's a lot of things moving at the same time.